The problem I'm going to look at here is that of uh, taking a wire. Uh, it's 8 meters long and I want to cut it into two parts. One part's going to form a circle and the other part's going to form a square. And as usual in calculus we're looking at uh, maximum and minimum here and we want to either maximize or minimize the total area. Now, we'll start off by letting X represent the circumference of the circle and then the remainder, which I represent by 8 minus X, will represent the perimeter of the square. Two simple formulas for circles, C equals 2 pi R. We could use pi D, but I like the fact that we can link up the, the R's of the two formulas. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll put this X, which represents the circumference of the circle, in for C. I want to substitute that into the area formula so we get r equals x over 2 pi and then I substitute that in for the r squared. Squaring that, this is what I get and when I uh, simplify I get 1 quarter pi x squared. Now notice that I've tried to write this in the simplest possible way. I'm, I'm going to take a derivative eventually and it's, uh, I don't want to get into a, pro a product or a quotient rule here, so I easily have a constant in front of the x squared, so I've, I've got a nice easy derivative. Secondly, I'm going to take the remainder of this, which is 8 minus x, and I'm going to use it to form the perimeter of a square. Now, the perimeter is 4s, area, length times width, or s squared, and this time here's the perimeter, that's where the x went for the uh, circle circumference, and if I divide by 4 I get a substitution for s in the uh, area formula. Now once again I want to make sure that I've got something that's easy to work with, so I squared the 4 on the bottom and I just removed that I've got a 1 over 16 out in front, again hoping to make the derivative as simple as possible. So the total area, this is the area of the circle, this is the area of the square. When I take the derivative of this, fairly simple. It's just 2 times this, x to the 1, and over here this is the chain rule, but the derivative of what's inside is simply negative 1. Put the derivative equal to 0. This negative sign I'm just putting out in front and I'm sliding the 8 underneath. There are several ways that uh, you can uh, simplify this. I particularly like cross multiplying. I, ju I just find uh, it's so much easier if I just move one of the terms to the other side and just multiply the 2 pi times the numerator here and the 8 times the x on the other side. That's what I get and I move this term over because I want the x's on one side. At this point I noticed I could divide through by 2. I could have done that earlier. It just keeps the expression as simplified as possible. Factor out the x and then divide both sides by x plus 4. And that is the value for x I need for, for the part that I'm cutting off for the circle. Now, let's go back. This was my expression for total area. And you see I have a domain for x. If x is 0, there's no circle. I haven't allowed anything for the circle. And if it's 8, it's entirely circle. Nothing left for the square. Now, if you substitute values in, if you substitute x in, which means it's uh, x equal to 0, there's no circle. See, putting the x equal to 0 there, all you get is 1 16th uh, times 8 squared, which is 4 square units. Uh, at the other extreme, putting in an 8 for x, this is 0, and uh, we just get an 8 squared there. And this is our value that we came up with when we took the derivative. As you can see, the minimum area is the 2.24 square units, and the maximum area 
is the 5.09 square units. So this is a problem where not only do you have to take the derivative, substitute the value where the derivative is zero, but also check the endpoints to see where your maximum or your minimum lie.